Oh, so nice to be out here in the garden, folks, playing with the dogs. But there's only one problem. He's turned up again, and he's using all my blinking equipment. Project man. Oh, Let's yeah. find out what he's up to. I've got a few things to do to do, to do today, folks. Quite a little vlog, this one, for doing little different things. Right, what you got here? It's a lawnmower. What were you doing with it? Well, uh, one of my subscribers reached out who lives local. Yeah. It's uh, a lawnmower just to cut his grass fern, so. That's what they're for? He didn't want nothing special, so he's having this, what I paid for it, but he's asked me to do a service on it, so. Just a cheap old Trojan 16. It's in a bit of a state. Not really worth a lot. It's still solid. Yeah, the duck is solid, it's just it's, someone's overpainted it by the looks of it. So you're just going to tidy that. I mean, you're going to do a bloke a favour, that's what you're going to do, isn't it? Well, he's having what I paid for it, but he's just paying for the service bit, so it's still a cheap mower for him at the end of the day. you got to look after your uh, subscribers, folks. What are you talking about? Well, you said you like to date uh, air filters. Yeah. Well, I've been doing it since 2000. You haven't done this that. Is returns, this is. Unbelievable. I'm just showing people stuff, that's all I'm doing, mate. And you've got it all off of me anyway, all what you know, I've taught you. I'll talk to you, boy. Right, let's have a little look. I've got a few things to do today, folks. We're going away on a little trip, so we're going in Sharon's car, but she's got a fault light up, an engine management light. It's been up for a while, it don't affect the running of it. I've got a feeling it's probably going to be the O2 sensor, but let's go outside, plug the diagnostic socket into it, and let's have a look uh, and see if we can find out what that fault code is. If it is that, I think he's got a spare one when he had his Astra. So we'll have a little look at that. So just outside now, folks, and for those of you who like your Mondeo ST220 content, I've been doing a bit of work to uh, Gary's ST220. He had a couple of dents that was been in there for ages and ages, and um, if you go over to his channel, that's Project Man, you'll see this being actually repaired. We've done this uh, on his channel, so uh, you're seeing it before it's at the last stage. We've got to finally rub this down with a bit of 500. There was two big dents there, one there and one there. Uh, and there was also a deep scratch on there as well. He did try to pull the dents out, but you could still see it. He was either after going to pay someone to do a paintless dent removal, but there again, he still had that big scratch in there. So rather than pay someone to do that and then still have to paint it, I said, oh, we'll do it ourselves. So that's what we're doing there. He did have a, a big scratch along here and on the bumper there. It was quite deep. He did try to buff it out with some um, compound, but that didn't work. But um, I took the 1500 wet and dry to it and we was able to get the majority of it out, so I ain't gonna need to paint the bumper again. We thought we were gonna have to do that one, so that was okay. And up here, we've uh, repaired this now. This was dented in there, and the paint had chipped off, because one of the um, shock absorbers that hold the uh, bonnet struts up, or the, the hood strap at the back here, and uh, that fouled and popped off, because it didn't have the clip on it, apparently and uh, it got wedged in there and it dented that so we've actually repaired that as well so that's just got to be sanded down with some 500 and painted and he also had some um, lacquer pill around the wheel arch as well so we've uh, actually done that as well and there's a little bit down on the bumper there so that's all been treated that's all going to be on his channel and all that's being done in the drive folks so uh, if you're interested in watching that pop over to project man's channel and uh, have a check on his mondao sc220 playlist and you'll probably find that so here's Sharon's car, let's get you set up. We'll get it opened up. We'll get inside. Oh, look at that, look, just got past that post. We got our um, top Don uh, plug-in diagnostic tool, so let's get that set up. Right, so just sitting in the car, so let's start it up. There we go. And as you can see down there, we've got the uh, engine management light on there. The other red light is just a handbrake light, so, um, it don't affect the running of it at all, folks. It's been running absolutely fine. I'm probably su gonna suggest that uh, it may be an O2 sensor. But uh, as I say, no nothing wrong with the, the, uh, the running of the car. It's just that the light's up there, and, and if you present the car to an MOT station with an engine management light, I think it will fail anyway, so. And in here, I've already had loosened this, but the, uh, the diagnostic socket sits underneath this little plate there. That's it there, folks, so it's got that little cap on it. Just removed that. So I've got this topped on scanner, which we just take out the box there. And in the end of it is the um, OBD2 wireless plug on this one. So we just take that and we plug that onto our socket down there. There we go, it's powered up. So then we turn this unit on. We'll uh, wait for this to load up, folks, and then we'll have a look and see what the uh, codes say. 
Right, folks, okay, it's come back with two fault codes, and it is pointing to the O2 sensor. O2 sensor, heater circuit, open. Bank one, sensor two. And the second one is just showing it's out of range. It's the same one, bank one, sensor two. Do we know what one's what? my video now, see which one I changed on mine. Right, because you had one as well, didn't you? Yeah. And I'm hoping he's got a spare one, folks. And I'm hoping he's got the spare right one. It'll be a second-hand one, but um, we'll have a little look and then we'll come back to you, find out if we what one it is. Right, we've just done a little check on Gary's video when he changed his one on uh, Stacey's old Astra convertible. His one was bank one, sensor one, wasn't it? That's the sensor one there. That's Number two is behind the system a bit more round. <sighs> right, which could be provide a bit of a nuisance for us because we're going away tomorrow morning and uh, we haven't got a tensor. Well, I was led to believe from the lad that I'd break these, he said the only difference is, is the cable's longer on one to the other. Right. So if I've got the longer one, surely you should be able to use that if you've got the shorter one that's got a problem. Because you'd have more Is the length. shorter one the one below? I reckon so, because this is quite a long cable on it. Where does that go? That goes over to here somewhere, doesn't it? Yeah. So you might be able to... All you can do is plug it in and try if it reaches, isn't it? Yeah. So... Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah, that's a long cable. That's the long cable, I doubt. So that is the O2 sensor, folks. This is a, a second-hand one, but you think this is a good one? Well, it was, it was taken out of a good car, so... Yeah. So what we've got to do then is to get this up in the air and see if we can locate that and uh, try and get it out, and then we'll try and plug that one in. So let's get the car up in the air, folks, and we'll come back to you in a second. Right, folks, we've got the car jacked up in the air now. We've got the axle stand on it. So coming underneath the front of the car, as you can see there, there is the second O2 sensor. That's it there, folks, look. Wouldn't be in a more equal position, would it? But uh, it looks well rusted in there. And the thing which I've got to decide is to, uh, is whether or not I can try and undo it now, because if I break it and we're going away tomorrow morning, that could be a big problem. So uh, I've got to decide if that cable is long enough and can I actually undo it? So I have got one of these O2 sensor sockets there. Let's see if it's the right one for this, which it appears to be. It sits on there like that, as you can see. But I don't know whether or not we can undo it from above. So I've got a few extensions, which I'm gonna try and plug in and see if it goes up the back there, Gary. So as you can see, folks, look. I've had to stick that right up there. I don't know if you can see right up there. And hopefully we can undo it from there. Failing that, it means taking the exhaust off and dropping the exhaust, and I don't really want to do that. I could separate it from there and then just lower this down. But that means unclipping the rubbers further down there and all that would give me proper exit. I'll be able to bring it down here sort of thing, you know? So um, Gary's trying to turn it from above now. No, hold it. It's uh, opening, I think. Do it again, try it one more. Knock it down, tap it down a bit more. Right, try that. Right, well, what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna get my blow lamp out and try and heat this up. So just lift that off the socket for a minute and uh, maybe that will just free it off a bit because it's really tight and that socket was just spreading open. Right, folks, let's try and heat this up. Okay, let's try that, folks. Right, let's try and drop that back on there, but I've got to be careful here because of my, my hands. I don't want to burn myself. Lift, lift it up. I want to back to you a bit. Play that. Right, you're on it now. Okay, try that. Push it down a bit if you can. Undo. Go on, let's keep going. Oh. Yep. You're going the right way, oh yeah. Go yeah. on. No, that's not coming out, is it? It's slipping off a bit. You push it down. Down a bit more. That's it. That's it. Go on, try again. Yeah, it's not bloody moving, is it? Yeah, he's getting a lot of twisting action on the bars, folks. So, we'll have to abort mission on that, I think. I don't think that's gonna work. Right, folks, well, we've tried a few different things, different spanners on it, 
uh, with no joy whatsoever. As you can see, I'm getting a bit dirty down here now. Look. And this is the shorter cable, which just plugs in up there. I don't know if you can just see where it plugs into. So what I'm going to have to do is to undo these three manifold bolts, drop the exhaust down, and then get more heat on it, and then get a, a, a big wrench on it, and hopefully get it out that way, because that's the... Uh, Anyway, there's no access to swing anything in there, so I'm going to have to report mission on that for today because we're going away tomorrow. But when we're looking under here, look at this, look. Wow, we didn't even know that, look. And apparently both are the same, both fronts are the same, so Gary's just phoning up now. We're going to get the uh, two new front tyres on before we go away and also get the tracking done as well. So sometimes not all things go to plan, folks, but uh, we've now got to jump on this because we literally need this car in the morning. Let's see what Gary says, what he's come back with. He's on the phone to him now. All right, All right then, buddy. Cheers, mate, thank you. Right, right, right. Well? That's pricey. What? Two tyres and tracking, 192 pounds. Where's that at? Horncastle. Is that the cheapest place we know? Horncastle. How much were the tyres each? 80 odd quid. What, cheapos? That was a budget, yeah. Prices have gone up, mate, on everything. I think I was paying 50 quid for them not so long back. Yep. Unless we phone up Mac and see if he can put you through on and just get it tracked up at a garage. Say that again. Phone up Mac. Who does the BMW with Jimmy? Oh, right. What, two, two good second hand ones? Yeah. Yeah, give him a bill. I'll do that then, yeah. Eh? Hey? I'll do that. Well, you, while you're doing that, later on I'll be doing that. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we want two front tyres. So 85 quid, folks. 80 quid per tyre plus VAT, obviously, or whatever. Or was that included? Fitted, yeah. Fitted yeah. 82 quid a tyre. So if we can get two tyres on it from a scrapyard, which is uh, Jimmy's mate, then we'll uh, obviously be in business. That'd be nowhere near that. I'm not paying that price if I can help it. All right, mate. 205, 50, 16. Yeah, 16. Two, please. Can you put them on as well? All right. All right, mate, lovely. Thank you. Right. I'm just going to check now again in 15 minutes. Right. Can they put them on as well? They do, yeah. Oh, we've got to take the wheels off or just take the car down there? Just take the car. They'll put them on the car? Yeah. That's what we're hoping for, folks. Got to be better than £85 per tyre. And all we'll do, we'll book it in and get it tracked by that company down the road. Keep with us, folks. We're getting there. Right, so we're literally working on the fly here, folks. Let's get all the tools out from here now because it looks like we're going to have to drive it somewhere. <clears throat> See, that's why you've got to do your checks, folks. We got still oil and all that lot of things to check out, but um, on a long journey, you've got to do your checks. Right, just do the handle, Bert. Right, just lift it up a bit. Hold it. Up. Right, that's it. Right, you up? Might wanna when you lower it down gently, hey? Just swing the jack that way a little bit because it's really tight to get under there. So let's put that back inside. Right, so do a few quick checks in here, folks. Water level, it was absolutely fine since the last time. Uh, brake fluid, that's fine. Just check the engine oil. Get that wiped down. Let's have a little look at that. Yeah, that could do with topping up. It's on the bottom of the um, dipstick, so we'll put some oil in it. So let me go and get a funnel. Always check in there for creaminess, folks. Let me go and get the oil. I'm gonna freestyle it here, yeah, I ain't got a funnel. Let's hope I don't spit it all down the engine. Looks all right. There we go. We'll add that and see where we are. All right, let's have a little look again, give it a wipe. There we go. Just where we need to be on the top mark. Happy days. Probably took about a litre and a half. Put that back in there. And I didn't spill a drop, which makes a change. Down here, folks, is the uh, power steering fluid. Just like to check that as well. It's right there, I can see it on the level, so it's virtually just on the uh, top there, so I'm happy with that. And one important thing as well, which a lot of people do tend to overlook, is your washer bottle, which on there, we're just on the bottom of the dipstick, so I'm going to top that up with a um, screen wash. And always handy to keep some of this, folks. Oh, yeah. You can pick it up cheap from your blinking supermarkets now, can't you? Already mixed like this is. Right, let's see if I can do it without spilling it. 
Here we go. Happy days. Just things to check, folks. I also like to have a general look around the engine bay. Things like hoses can sometimes be on their way out and they show signs of blowing. So uh, let's have a look and see what we can do. Gary's had a phone call. Mate. Thank you. Bye, bye. Well, about 58 quid fitted. 58 quid fitted, folks, for two tyres. Have a guess where we're going now. He's going on his dinner at 12, so you've got 40 minutes. Right, go. so we can get down there now, get the tyres on. Yeah, yeah, and do the tracking. Then do the tracking afterwards. See, folks, we're working on the fly. That's how you got to do it sometimes. He's got a bloke coming to pick up a lawnmower or leaving. Uh, at 12 o'clock his house, so we've got to be back for that, and then I've got to book that in. Then we've got to do this as well, so you'll see that on his channel. So that's coming up later on today, here, but you won't see that unless you go over and see Project Man. Right, we're back home now, folks. I just want to put a bit of tyre uh, stuff on these wheels. This is only a cheap one, look, only cost a pound. This it comes out of Gary's uh, poly tunnel or plastic workshop. So let's give this a go, see what it looks like. So here we go. Let's have a look down here, folks. Plenty of tread on them little babies. Don't know if you can see that, can you? Two uh, tyres from the old scrapyard or the salvage yard at a fraction of the price of the new ones. Right, so here's one of our tyres, folks. Is that on? Switched on? All right, I've never used this before, so. They normally are a gel type, but this is a, a liquid, isn't it? So look, just give it a wipe. There we go, look at that, look. I know the wheels are dirty a bit, but I think you'll agree. Looks a whole lot better. Not perfect, folks, but I think you'll agree. Looks a lot better now. There we go. Let's just do this one out. It's a liquid disc, Gary, isn't it? Yeah, it's hey? Just yeah. put a bit on them wheels and all, look. It's only a pound. I thought it was a gel type. Get them wheels a bit of a wipe over. We are on the lookout, folks, for some turbo alloys for this. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to go and pick a set up this morning, but the bloke didn't want to give out his address and meet us at a random place, which I weren't too happy with. And uh, while we were down the breakers yard down there, our old mate has got a set down there for us, so we'll have that off him at a later stage. There you go, that's a lot better. There you go. And baby Frank's going out for a walk. Hello, baby Frank. Are you going out for a walk? Oh, he's got something black in his ear. Look, what's that? Bit of his dinner. Is it his dinner? Yeah. Baby Frank, look. How are you? <laughs> yeah. Is that Granddad's camera? <laughs> yeah, you going out for a walk with Nanny then? And Doogly. And Doogly. Oh, Doogly's going, the old competition loser. Yeah. Oh, wait, don't lean on the car. Don't lean on the car. They've made a space for the breakers. Eh? Hey? He's made a space with the breakers. Right? Unbelievable. So that's that. Let's put that away. So although we haven't done the O2 sensor on bank two, which is the one behind the cat, the one on the exhaust, I would have to drop that exhaust down. And I didn't really want to undo them uh, manifold bolts on the clamp because they look like they've uh, rusted to pieces. So we'll do that another day when we come back, obviously, and then we'll get some new nuts to go on it. Because he's we he done his one, and his one uh, the bolts. Uh, disintegrated so we had to sort that out and put a nut and bolt through it and all that. I don't want to hassle today so we will get back on that and sort that out but it's only a sensor but I'm just going to reset the codes anyway and see if we can clear the light. It might come back on, it might not, who knows. Right so I've just started the car up folks. At the moment the uh, fault light's gone out but it probably might come back on again we don't know so at least it's not there for the moment and we've got a clear car at the moment. Just turn it off and turn it on again. Get ready to turn the ignition on. There we go, out she goes again. Right, well let's leave that for the moment. So just pop that in here to our local um, tyre centre folks, just getting the car tracked now. There it is. I don't know what we're gonna do for dinner tonight, yeah, I'm not before. Jimmy's that. phoning up, wants to know what's for dinner tonight. <laughs> He's at work. Right, so we'll get this done folks, and uh, we've got the two new tyres on, that come in at 60 pounds same place here they want in 80 pounds for a tire so we just got them to do the tracking instead there she is folks having the old tracking done now uh, 
so he said the uh, passenger side was well out and he's doing the driver's side afterwards so it just shows you it I did mention that it did have two ball tyres on at the front on the inside so uh, not no more not anymore no that's right baby anyway that's what's happening there folks we'll see you in a minute there we go folks all done now alignment front wheel so it's well out apparently do you want to keep the receipt Chef? it goes in the books baby all right then and we'll make our way back and we'll finish our checks before our journey. See you in a minute. Right, there we go, folks. That's all in this video. Um, I'm going to start work on his car now, but you'll be watching that on the Project Man channel if you're interested in watching me do the bodywork repair on the back of that ST220. Anyway, thanks very much, folks. Don't forget to check out my other playlists where we've got car repairs, lawnmower repairs, all that sort of stuff, motorcycle restorations, and uh, I'll leave a link to them at the end of this video. Anyway, thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video, and until then, bye for now.